what advice you would give to organizations as they, you know, kind of build their observability uh, journey or, you know, practices internally? That's a good one. I would say that, you know, I know I talked a little bit about operations earlier, but we don't give, we don't give operational teams enough credit. They have hard jobs working in operations. I worked in operations a long time ago. It was probably one of the hardest jobs I've ever had. Um, they're the first uh, teams that get thrown in front of the trolley if something goes bad. And setting your operations teams up for success is really important. So when you think about, okay, you're building this op, you know, this um, observability strategy, um, you want to pick and choose vendors and platforms and things that fit to your culture and fit to, okay, how much talent do you have on staff? Like, do you have, um, you know, do you have a lot of IT teams or, you know, do you have budget to hire more and to train up and to do more, you know, think of it as like do it yourself and build things out internally? Or are you a little bit lean? Um, so the leaner you get with staffing, especially now in this, this market that we're in, you know, looking at platforms that abstract and take a lot of those burdens away from your operations, minimize the touch points minimize the interaction surfaces to, to help you be successful, I think is important. So just uh, limiting the scope of what you have to worry about as an organization um, is key. And just always remember, never, you know, I think historically there's been this approach of taking as much data as you can. You know, I remember back when we were first doing syslogging, we would just log everything and then we would compress it, we'd rotate it, and then if we ever needed to find anything, good luck. It would be really hard to, to find this historical data. So just remember that, you know, having the access to the right data that tells you what you need to know is, is critical.